Krao, also known as Jro, Ro, Taman, Charuo, Choro, Chioro, is a Bonaeric language spoken by some of the 22,000 ethnic Cho Ro people in southern Vietnam. Unlike most languages of Southeast Asia, Krao has no lexical tone, though it does have significant sentence intonation. There are approximately fewer than 20,000 people that are native speakers of Krao. Most people who speak Krao are from the southern parts of Vietnam, such as Bien Hoa and Binh Toi. Most of the this research has been conducted by David Thomas. The language of Krao has a lot of Chinese influence, which is why it can be seen as similar to many other languages. In the later years after they began to sell crops to others in the area, the influence of Vietnamese would begin to appear in their language. Similarly to the Chinese and Vietnamese language, there are also certain tones in the Krao language that are emphasized when speaking. Classification The Krao language is part of the South Bonaeric subgroup along with Koho, Sting and the MNON dialects. Many see Koho and Krao as an independent subgroup but there is not much on that, however the distinction between the two is seen to be obvious. Since it is of Bonaeric origin, there are many cognates with other divisions in this group such as Jirai and Raid. There is also seen to be many influences from other Southeast Asian countries other than Vietnam like Laos and Cambodia as well as Malaysia. History Many suspect the Krao people were among the first inhabitants of now South Vietnam, however there has been some suspicion that some of the people may have been aboriginals. Before the Vietnamese had inhabited the country, the country was divided between the Malayo-Polynesian and Mon Khmer speakers. With the Malayo-Polynesian people settling along the inland and high plateaus of Vietnam and the Mon Khmer people living either north or south of the plateau. Although there is a gap in history between the two areas, many suspect that there could have been a Mon Khmer invasion to the Malayo-Polynesian. Explaining why the Mon Khmer language was more prevalent in southern Vietnam. This has also sparked different stories by different groups of how the Krao came about be it form the Cambodians of Chamak people, there are changes happening due to the war forced resettlement of the Krao. The Jro clan was one of the largest clans of the Krao people which is why the language is sometimes referred to as Jro. As the Vietnamese began to settle in the area, the Krao language slowly transformed into Vietnamese, which is why Krao became an endangered language. The Krao language has become something that is exclusively spoken to with other people who know the language. In different situations, Vietnamese is what is typically being used in the markets and not much of the newer generation will not have known what Krao is. Geographic distribution Krao is currently homogeneous because of the surround clans. Being spoken in the South Vietnam in an area 50 miles from the east of Saigon. Krao people are known to stretch from the Langa River to the east of Tanlin, dividing the east of Krao and west of Rigali, another language being spoken. Most of the Krao language is spoken along the seacoast from Hamton to Vungtau and Longden but not farther than the Dongne River. Though there are no official cities that have Krao as an official language, many areas around the Phuoctai and Binhoa cities there are many who still speak the language there. Though Vietnamese is the major language in all areas. Many of the people who do speak Krao tend to live in areas between the flat lands near the Mekong Delta but also near mountainous areas of Vietnam. However, there seems to have been a shift if recent years to the highway areas of Vietnam because of the change in weather which makes traveling difficult for the Krao people as well as financial stability. Dialects JRO There is the JRO dialect which is spoken by the majority of the people who do know Krao because they were the largest clan that existed at the time. It is spoken around in the area of the dialect separates n from h as well as saying u is essentially a neutralization of i and u in certain environments while e a and a o neutralize in other environments allowing the open syllables to take only long vowels prang this dialect is spoken in locations such as the Tuktring area, however many consider this dialect to be childish and a general mutual intelligibility in context. Although this is not the most popular dialect, there are a few records that are in this dialect. 
Even though there does not seem to be much correlation, it is due to the environment in which the Krau were in, where they found themselves attempting to mix the two influences of Chinese as well as Vietnamese since the Prang dialect was more to the west side of Vietnam where it bordered along Laos and Cambodia. Sounds, phonology In Krau there is only one main syllable that is stressed and may sometimes contain unstressed syllables that are considered presyllables. Usually the nouns, verbs, adjectives and such are either monosyllabic or disyllabic. While other parts such as connectives and verbal auxiliaries take are monosyllabic. Presyllables in Krau consist of a single initial consonant followed by a single neutral vowel while the main syllable has up to three consonants following a complex vowel in the end. This results in a nasally sounding consonant followed by voiced stops or voiceless stops. A voiced stop is seen as a stop in the consonant which has more to do with the throat and vibrations in the vocal cords rather than an actual stop in speech. Crow is seen to be spoken in pitches much higher due to the nasal sounds as well as at a quicker pace because of the voiceless stops as well as the stressed and unstressed syllables. Grammar Morphology Krau has a major influence of monosyllables from the trend in Eastern and Southeastern Asia so there is little left that are some of the original words of Krau. This can also be seen through the Mon Khmer language. Within the Krau language there has been an evolution of reduplicatum. This can be seen with words that have similar spelling that describes an action. Syntax Many find Krau to be moving to a language that is a tonal language, which is based off the emphasis given to each letter in the word. Similarly to Vietnamese and Chinese. There also seems to be a tendency to where Krau would weaken certain verbs in order to let them have more than one use like an adverb or a preposition. When it comes to pronouns and other nouns there is only a slight difference syntactically. Vocabulary Since the Krau is in southern Vietnam, there has been influences from all ends such as the markets and roads that are being built. Although many words of the Krau had originated as their own word, as the Vietnamese and Chinese influence began to seep in, their words became morphed into something that was a combination of both languages. However, only the Krau seem to have understood the language that has formed. It is also noted that not all their words have been influenced by the Vietnamese, rather just a few. Writing system The writing system tends to be more formal since it is neither a traditional culture or intimate conversation. There is a colloquial style that is used in ordinary conversation which is marked by short sentences and frequent ellipsis. Examples Numbering system the numbering system is one example of the difference in the Krau language to other languages, that even though there is a bit of Chamak and Mon Khmer influence as well as others. It still has its own unique numbering system, that is only for it. References Further reading Cheeseman, Nathaniel, Harrington, Jennifer, Sidwell, Paul, 2013. Single quote single quote. Bonaric Linguistic Bibliography with Selected Annotations. Mon Khmer Studies Vol. 42 Mahidol University and SIL International. Mo, L. 1971. Bon Gut Sinlo Sung Vrieq. Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.org slash resources slash archives slash 30760. Parkin, R. 1991. A Guide for Austroasiatic Speakers and Their Languages. Oceanic Linguistics Special Publications, 23, 1-139. Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.jstore.org slash stable slash pdf slash 20006738.pdf. Thomas, D. 1966. Krau Intonation. The Mon Khmer Studies, 2, 1-13. Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.org slash resources slash publications slash entry slash 8155. 
Thomas, D.D., 1967. Krau Grammar, A Mon Khmer Language of Vietnam. Thomas, D., 1969. Krau Affixes. The Mon Khmer Studies Journal, 3, 90-107. Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.org slash resources slash publication slash entry slash eight three two nine Thomas D. nineteen seventy one Crow Grammar Oceanic Linguistics Special Publications seven I two fifty eight Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.jstore.org slash stable slash 20019129 Thomas, D. 1978. The Discourse Level Crow. The Mon Khmer Studies Journal, 7, 233-295. Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.org slash resources slash publication slash entry slash eight one five eight Thomas D. nineteen eighty Notes on Crow Ethnogeography Sill Museum of Anthropology six two hundred fifteen to two hundred fifty four Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.org slash resources slash publication slash entry slash 7950 Thomas, D. 1983. Reality and Assurance in Crow Conditional Sentences. Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.org slash resources slash archives slash 3669 Zwicky, A. 1985. Clitics and Particles. Language, 61-2, 283-305. Retrieved from https colon slash slash www.jstore.org slash stable slash pdf slash 414146. PDF. External links. Resources in and about the Crow language Crow Parlometrics I Crow Parlometrics II